Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. This video is the companion video that goes alongside the commander's experience. This one is the tanks with commander experience bonuses. This one will help you maximize your commander's experience gaining on top of the other videos stuff that help your commanders just by themselves. So what I'm going to tell you about is about 13 tanks that I have made a list. I'm sure there's some things on there that this list doesn't cover. This list doesn't have to cover everything. I just want to give you common, well, the most commonly known commander bonus tanks because these are very useful. What you're seeing here is a blue steel Carnarvon eradicator. Why did you put that tank on your front of your video? Good question. The reason I did that is because this tank has the highest commander experience bonus for any tank. There's actually three of these tanks. There's the Earthshaker, and then there's also the Demolisher, in addition to this one, the Eradicator. These all have 75% bonus. Commander experience. So if I'm running, if I want to run a match and I want to build commander bonus points, any commander that's in here is going to get a 75% bonus just as it is. But being greedy guys like we are, why would I want to shove a regular commander that has no commander bonus in a tank that has a 75% bonus? Wouldn't it be better to take, I don't know, see the skeleton guy, this Jolly Roger? He's got a 30% bonus. If I take his 30% commander bonus and shove it in this tank, do they stack? The answer is yes, they do. So that 75% plus his 30% becomes 105%. So he's, you know, this combo would already make the bonus for the commander points is already more than the actual commander points you would on the base that you would earn. If he would earn, if a regular commander would earn 1,000 commander points in a mission in this tank, that thousand would be. The, the base number would be added to the bonus, which would be 1,050 because it's 105%. Now, we can also add another 10% by adding enhanced rations. And if our commander has the quick learner skill, and trust me, he does, that's another 10%. So that 105% becomes 115% with the rations and 125% bonus with the quick learner. So this tank with this commander in this setup is a essentially is a 225% total commander points tank. So basically what happens is if this tank would earn a thousand commander points, it's 2.25 multiplied times that is the bonus. I'm sorry, not the, the bonus plus. It's a 125% bonus. So 225% would be the total multiplier. So it'd be either 1,000 plus 1,250, or it would be 2.25. Wait a second. Yes, 2.25 times the 1,000. In either case, it's 2,250 points is what you would get instead of a regular 1,000. So it's more than double what you would get if you're not a really, you don't like numbers. If you don't like mentally visualizing numbers, this setup is more than double the normal, and that's the key. This is an awesome setup, but there's a slight negative. The slight negative is that this tank is expensive. It's 11,550 gold, and I didn't pay that because I'm not stupid. I got this by trading in that Russian 752 Tier 9 tank from the Dream Machines and paying 2,800 is the difference in the trade-in. So that's how I got this, <clears throat> pardon me, that's how I got this tank for cheap. 
because I'm all about having cool tanks and stuff, but I'm also about getting them cheap if I can. So this is a great tank for commander experience. Now, the weakness it has is that it's a Tier 8, which means it can play Tier 9 or Tier 10 matches, which are slow in generating your points. So this is not a great tank to put all your eggs into this basket. This is the wrong tank for that. This is not one I would say go and do whatever you have to do and buy this tank. It will solve all your problems. It, it won't. And I'm telling you up front, there's a better tank for that. However, this is a tremendous tank if you're working on a contract that uses heavy tanks or an operation that uses heavy tanks. Then this is an awesome tank. This is an awesome addition to your stable of tanks. This is not the Holy Grail. The quote-unquote Holy Grail of tank experience, tank commander experience, is not this tank. The closest to that, that situation would be the Tier 2 Panzer 38H. And some of you out there, Tier 2 38H, that tank is... That's the best tank for commander experience? Why, yes. Yes, it is. What a great question. So the reason that one is the best is because now it only has a 50% bonus. This one has a 75% bonus. But the matches in this tank are routinely 6 to 15 minutes. You know, it's, it's 6, 8, 10 minutes a match in this tank meaning you're going to get ballpark of about six matches an hour in this tank. The 38H will run you about 10 to 12 matches an hour. And so the fact that it's hitting a 50% bonus at twice the rate of matches per hour means you're going to be getting, you know, let's just say if you're getting 10 an hour at 50% bonus, you're going to be getting five times your normal uh, bonus net. I'm keeping it simple. This one at three quarters running six an hour, you're only going to get uh, four and a half times. So you would actually make more commander points total running a 38H tier two because it does more per hour. But... That won't help you if you're running a, uh, a contract that needs a tier six or higher heavy tank. Now, will it? That's what it's for. And then if you want to use the other one, the Demolisher is a tier eight tank destroyer. Again, awesome. Same as this tank. Awesome for contracts or operations. And the Earthshaker, I think, is a medium, whatever. Same, same concept. But... This is a great tank. It's very expensive. And, and most of these tanks, they're going to, actually all of them, have some negative. All these commander experience tanks, they all have a negative, plus or minus. There's, they have great positives and they have great negatives. Well, not great, but they have negatives you have to consider. The negative <clears throat> of this tank, as I said, Tier 8 going to get sucked into Tier 9 and Tier 10 matches bogus. It's going to slow down your progress. That's its quote-unquote negative. Good tier 8 heavy tank. Oh, it's a three-shot autoloader, by the way. That's a positive. So you need to be aware of these positives and negatives and then make your decisions accordingly. Now, I talked to you about the quote-unquote holy grail or closest to it the 38H. It's a tier two little butt kicker is what it is, but it does have another negative. Actually, let's look at this tank here and let's look at the actual stats here. Here's the stats. This one has a silver bonus of 50%, which means this will make you money. Tank XP bonus of 15%, pretty good. It's that commander bonus of 75%. That's the monster. Now, it says 150 silver, 115 experience, and 175 commander. What those are, that's the 
percentage bonus, which will include, if you multiply it by 150%, it would, it would be silver bonus. You would multiply the silver bonus times 1.5. This is just using mathematical information to make it seem more impressive than it actually is. It's impressive, but it looks visually more impressive. If you go, silver bonus is 150. Ooh, that's very high. If it said 1.5, you go, well, that isn't that big of a deal. You see, it just... It's playing games with, you know, it's playing games on people who aren't very good at math, okay? I'm excellent at math. I graduated college in math. Durr. Okay, so I'm just telling you, they're trying to take advantage of people who are not well-versed in math. If you know someone who's really good at math, play this for them and they'll go, oh, yeah, that's right. I'm trying to cut through the baloney. It's a 50% silver bonus. It's a 75% commander bonus. Now, what we need to do is show you the quote-unquote holy grail. Bang. Um, bang. There you go. Awesome. This dude. <clears throat> this is the Panzer 38H. Now, this dude has a big freaking negative. What's his negative? Well, number one, it's a tier two. So it has limitations that, you know, as a tier two has. Um, but its big negative is it has no silver bonus, which means you got to be real careful. If you set this thing up to win, which you can do, you're going to lose a lot of money. Silver. Me, I don't care. I go play Cold War. I make all that back, you know, in one match. So when I'm playing to win, sometimes I'm minus 20, minus 30,000 silver in this tank if the game gets weird, okay? And it, it all depends. What, what is your tolerance level for using premium ammo? I'm like, you know what? I don't need to be bouncing shots off of anybody. I need to kill them all, all premium all the time. I lose money in this tank, and I don't care. All right, that's just me. You might be a little more reserved, Silver bonus, you see that 100% means you don't get any bonus at all. That means that gold repair that I use, it cost me 10 grand right out, right out the door. Tank experience bonus 70% is awesome. But uh, it's the commander experience that rakes it in for you. I have videos. My personal record in this tank is 56 or 57,000 commander experience in one game. Sky is the limit on what you can make in this tank in one game, okay? But on a game-by-game on -game basis, five, 6,000 a game almost every match, if you're going decent. If you get a bad match, that yeah, might be 3,000. If you get a good match, seven or 8,000, maybe 9,000. It, it just, this thing makes a lot, and it's doing it 10 times an hour, sometimes 12 times an hour. It's craziness. When we run these for long hauls, these things just jackpot the commander experience. But I lose money, but I don't care. I go to Cold War. I play two games in my high silver earners. I get it all back. Whatever, dude. I don't really care. That's why this tank for me... Whoops. Check this out. There it is right here. 38H. This tank for me has a 71 winning percent, 71 percent win percentage, because I'll pay silver to win, because it's going to cost you silver to use those premiums to win. Jackpot! Okay, it's quote unquote the closest to the holy grail you can get for commander experience. Now there's some other great tanks. Let me show you. Let me show you those one by one. Okay, up front, I'm going to tell you I wrote the list as I recalled it. There's no order to this. It's just a list of tanks that have commander bonuses. I'll show you those tanks and give you the information of what the commander bonus is for that tank. You can write this stuff down. It might help to make a list for yourself, whatever floats your boat, because this is very useful stuff.
Now, this is a tier six Russian T3488. It's a T34 with a German Tiger cannon on there. So it has a better than normal cannon. It's awesome. Very good mobility. This tank is a scoring tank. It will score. It only has a 20% commander experience bonus, but it's a very good scoring tank at, at tier six. Also great for contracts and operations. So this tank is really useful, very easy to play, smooth, and not expensive to acquire. That's part of the thing that's, that makes it so good. So let's look at this. Silver bonus, it doesn't have any. That's another negative. So it's 100% silver bonus. 50% tank experience bonus, which is good for contracts and operations. Commander experience, 20%, solid, helpful. You know, it, you know you're going to, you know, if you're using tier six mediums for a contract, this is a great tank to use for that because it's going to crush your contract faster. Okay. Let me go to the next one. This is the French AMX Chaffee. This is technically a light tank, and that's how it's designated. Another great contract tank. Six-shot autoloader, tier seven. An absolute butt kicker. Again, this is this is kind of like the light tank version, comparable to the T3488. Tier seven, the six-shot autoloader is fantastic. Great as a sniper. Hiding in the bushes, drilling guys with six shots, and if you need to, it has decent speed to escape. You know, it's like 50, over 50. Also, like the T3488, 20% commander bonus. Okay. It's not super awesome, but it's a terrific tank. Again, contract usage and operations. It's a winner. What do we have? Again, silver bonus, no silver bonus. Now, because it plays primarily as a sniper, you don't have to run expensive consumables like gold repair because you're a sniper more so than a brawler. The T-34 is a brawler. You're going to need that gold repair on that one. The 10,000 is worth it. So tank experience bonus, 60% awesome for contracts. 20% commander bonus, like I told you. Very good tank, fun to play. And that's really one of the big deals. This is a T28 Demolisher. You'll notice it has the same blue coloring as the Eradicator because this is the tank destroyer version of the Eradicator. Uh, three shot auto loader, 75% commander bonus, 50% uh, silver bonus, which we'll look at. I mean, we can look at that right now. It's a butt kicker. Again, this is, a, you know, 11500 plus or whatever it costs. It's expensive. This tank is technically on sale in a bundle. It's an expensive bundle in the store right now. And that will end in what? Uh, this is the 30th. So 31st, 1, 2. I think the 3rd of, I think it ends the 3rd of April. But so if you see this in the future after April, it, it's that bundle's gone but this is available a total butt kicker is a tank destroyer version of the eradicator this would be one of your highlight things you use for contracts i mean you could you might like playing tank destroyer which is fun and that would be that's what this is good for you know this is not the end all be all because, again, you can probably only run about six matches an hour in this tank. You'll do well with your commanders. But you could do better if you use one that cycled faster. But, you know, it depends what you need. Find what you need and get something that matches that. That's not one that you start with first. You get this as, a, as, you, know, as you progress throughout your tank acquisitions. Let's look at the 
bonuses for the Astron Rex. 50% silver, like I said, it makes money. 10% for the contract on tank experience, not a big deal. 50% commander, real good. Now, the other thing about this, it's a bonus. This is a five-shot autoloader. So, a very strong tank. Very useful. The armor for this turret is, is actually phenomenal. You look at the yellows, 120 plus. And they have that green 71. This dude is hard to kill straight on. So it's a very good tank. One of the minor weaknesses is the amount of games per hour. Again, you're looking in the six, six ballpark because it's an eight and it will play nines and tens. But, like I said, all these tanks have pluses and minuses. And this one's minus is that it's a tier 8. But its positives speak for themselves. This is the Vengeance. This is a tier 8 medium tank. Another, you know, butt kicker type tank. It was on sale a month ago or something like that. Now, all these tanks will come on sale at some time during the year. Some, it's, you know, some will come back on sale. Who knows? Tier 8 medium tank. Let's take a look at these bonuses, shall we? 50% silver, 50% commander. And, you know, it's almost the same as the Astron Rex. The main difference is that the Astron Rex is an autoloader. This is a one-shot regular tank. You know, cool tank. Looks pretty awesome. Again, Tier 8, you get the same problem. It'll face Tier 9s and Tier 10s. And you're looking at about six games an hour. So, solid. But not, like, super awesome. This one is the Grim Reaper's Death Chariot. Another Tier 8 heavy tank. Uh, I think it's basically the same tank as the Alpine Tiger. Uh, this one, however, has a 25% commander bonus. So same story, Tier 8, same negatives as all Tier 8s. You'll face 9s and 10s. Um, pretty cool, though. I mean, you know, if you have the Grim Reaper, kind of an awesome, you know, awesome design. I've seen this tank take MVP in matches. So just give you that as a... Uh, personal note. I don't have it, but it looks pretty cool. So you can see 50% silver, which is good. Only 10% for, you know, contracts, no big deal. But 25% commander bonus. You know, it's one of those things, if you have the Grim Reaper, etc., it's really an awesome, you know, tank for atmospheric purposes. Uh, another solid tank that you could get for with commander bonus it just everybody has their own thing that they like this is another great one king dragon this guy has a 30 percent commander bonus and a really good silver bonus so another one tier eight same story uh, good medium tank looks fantastic i mean just look at that that golden dragon barrel with the dragon head that spits the bullet out, essentially. It looks pretty awesome. Yeah, 58% silver bonus. Again, the only negative is it's tier 8, but pretty awesome. This one has been on sale before. I'm sure it'll be on sale again. The things to look for, this is one of them. Another tier 8, the Legion 59 Patton. This tank is available on contract, and I'm working on this contract right now. So I'd hit this dude as soon as I could because now you know what it's for. It's got a, it's a free tank that you can earn and have commander bonuses. Kind of speaks for itself. Let's take a look, shall we? 100% silver bonus means you don't make any bonus silver. 35%. 
tank experience for contract or operations, 20% commander bonus. Not an awesome amount, but hey, it's free. That's my favorite number. So if I didn't have one and I needed a free commander bonus tank, this is one of the ones I'd get for tier eight, especially, you know, same old story. This one could get a little expensive depending because you're going to need gold repair on this guy for sure. So you got to be careful. But I think this would be a great tank to get for free. No question about it. But again, as a tier 8, you're going to get about 6 matches an hour in this tank. This is a tier 7 medium jackal. Very similar to the AMX Chaffee. It is an auto loader with a Sherman chassis. 20% commander bonus. Uh, but more silver bonus. So really a good tank, one I'm planning on getting myself. Whoops, here we go. 60%. Again, terrific tank to use all around fun. Really good stuff. It's just like the uh, AMX Chappie, except as a medium, it's a little bit slower but has more hit points, so harder to kill. Tomato, tomato. But really good tank with a lot of silver bonus. 60% silver bonus is very good. You're going to make some money in this dude. Um, on sale, as you can see right now, until like the 3rd of April. So, you know, 4830 gold is pretty good, dude. That's a tough deal to beat, actually. They're killing me. But I like this tank a lot. This is a personal favorite of mine. The Hollenhund, which is a German hellhound. This is a Walker Bulldog style tier 8 light tank with a 90 millimeter cannon. Rolls 80. Tier 8. 50%. Absolutely a butt kicker. This is a great tank. One of the best, actually, that to go in a tier 10 match. This is this is one of the few tanks that can really do well and score and damage. Even though it's a light tank. Its speed factor is what makes it so useful. So this dude. Yeah, 87. Sorry, my mistake. I knew that sounded wrong. I have this geared for flat out mega speed. And this thing's accuracy is fantastic. Accuracy of this gun, 0.36 on the run, very useful. And that's without my commander. When my commander's in it, it's much lower. So that's a 40% silver bonus. That means you will make money, which is useful. 50% commander, 20% for contract and operations this one is awesome it's only negative is that it's tier 8 and faces tier 10s but it's an absolutely monster of a of a light tank that commander bonus speaks for itself dude this thing is awesome uh got this for free at the halloween it'll be free again so if you don't have this by the time halloween rolls around that's the tank to get right there. That's what I got. And people want it once they find out about that 50% bonus. The light tank players want it because this thing is awesome, even against nines and tens. So if you're a good light tank player, this is the one to have. So, like, like I said, the only negative, six matches an hour ballpark due to its tier eight status. But an absolutely awesome tank. This is a Swedish Lansen C, another 20% commander bonus tank. Um, tier 8, again, that's the, got the same tier 8 problems. But, you know, it's just all in your personal preferences. 50% silver bonus, 15% tank, bo tank uh, experience, 
for contracts and operations, 20% commander. So it just all depends what you're interested in. Personally speaking, if I was going to get a tier eight, I'm going to get 50%. I'm not going to waste my time with a 20%, but that's just my personal opinion. I have nothing against this tank specifically, other than the fact that it's only got 20% commander. If I got it in operation for free or something like that, I'd take it. But if I'm going to go and spend gold, I'm going to get 50% minimum. That's just me. So I did spend some gold for my eradicator, but I got that for a bargain price. So that's what I'm saying. Unless this was an ultra bargain, I would get something better. All right, I put the commander back in this tank to give you an idea. This gun, 0.30 accuracy, which is just on the edge of sniper quality. Pretty much speaks for itself. This dude is an absolute awesome tank. So that's the thing that also is very important, is getting a tank for commanders to use that is... Fits your, it fits your, your skills, something that's fun for you to play. So this one's a tremendous light tank. But if that's not your, if a speed light interceptor is not your forte, this won't be that useful to you. You have to you go for something different. And I showed you a bunch of different ones that you can get. Um, again, you have to make this decision for yourself. However, I'm going to show you one that's very important. Okay. Once again, this is the Panzer 38H. This is my best recommendation for you because of just really one thing. It's free. You want to know how to get it for free? Why? Well, I bet you do. And that's fantastic. It's super easy to get for free. So in case you don't know about this, if you know about this, well, just bear with us. It won't take very long. I'll explain it to these guys so that they can get this tank for free because this is a butt kicker. It's really the best overall uh, scoring tank for commander experience per hour. This will make you the most commander experience per hour of any tank. So that being said, let me show you how it is we do it. Okay, I'm going to show you this on Xbox, but it works essentially the same thing on PlayStation. I'm going to go to the Microsoft Store, and PlayStation would be the PlayStation Store. Now, the PlayStation Store is a little different because they have a conflict. There's two different games we'll find that have free tanks. And if you're on Xbox, you can get both of these tanks for free, and I'll show it to you. It's real simple stuff. It's not difficult at all. But in PlayStation, apparently you're uh, you're you're only allowed to get one because it has something to do with the memory. There's a black one here, and then there's another one that comes up that's blue. Really, you know, really nice too. There it is. The blue one. This one has a T2 light, which is great for an X, if you're on Xbox. But if you're on PlayStation, you don't want to do this because it will block you from getting the 38H. Some guys told me about this. I was completely shocked, but apparently that's the way it goes. So here we want to go to this two-pack of World, World Tanks and World of Warships. You're not going to download the games because you don't need to. You already have the tanks game. You can do it if you want. It doesn't matter. That's not what you need. What you need... We have the game, obviously. This one, you may or may not have it. doesn't really matter. The add-ons, joint forces. This is the black one. It'll show you. This one here, take about 60 seconds to download. This is the file that gives you a free 38H. Now, let's double check this and make sure I know this is correct. But there you go. In the pictures of the game, it shows you the 38H. So this is what it will give you in your garage for free. Super fantastic. Okay. You just go there, download that 10 megabyte file, bing, bang, boom, you're done. Okay, now that's how you get the 38H for free. And if you want to get that 
T2 Lite, do the blue one, same business, exact same stuff. All you need is the file. And uh, it takes like 60 seconds. You get it for free, no problem. But the 38H is a monster. And here's the monstrosity in action. 100% silver, you don't get silver. So you got to be very careful with what you do. But it, this thing is a monster for contracts or operations. If you can use a tier two, this one has a 70% bonus. It's monster. It'll get them done faster than anything else. Then that 50% commander speaks for itself. So here, if you look at the tank, the problem is really this. This gas, this tank is a slow tank. The gas helps the rotation of the turret, which is very useful. But it costs 10000 This costs 10000 If you add in premium ammo, man, you're going to lose twenty grand a match. No problem. And I mean fast. So you don't play this tank if you're short or having any trouble with silver. Go build a stash and do it that way. I build the stash in Cold War. Hey, that's just me. You do whatever you have to do. The problem is if you don't have repairs and you get hammered you're gonna be you're gonna get reamed so this is a, it's very it's you know it's very different to win in this tank you need to have good consumables and if you don't have them you're in trouble now what I have done here you can take the gas off no problem I have set this guy up with the repair system and if you have a commander that you know if you get the repair skills on your commander it's really pretty awesome. It'll repair for, by automatically. So that depends. But normally, most people would just go with uh, gold repair. This gives you the commander bonus. It also gives you increased accuracy for your gun and decreased load time. The reload time on this with a bum commander, 2.02 .02 seconds. It, it goes to under 2 seconds once you jack that up by adding commander skills like this. This guy only has two skills. So the next skill he would get from me would be increased aim. And after that, I would go with born leader because that will increase the aim again and decrease the loading time again. After that, you can do whatever you want. I go with armor angling to reduce damage that it takes. And you'll see why when you play it. It's very tough. Some of the vehicles have a difficult time penetrating it. And they have to use premium ammo to penetrate it. So that's the story. This is an absolute butt kicker. But it's not going to just show up and win. You have to actually be good. If you're not good, well, then you're not good. You'll have to get good. But you have to learn your tank. It's really good. This thing will make you, like I said, the most commander points per hour of any tank in the game. So, it, but it is kind of slow. Up the hill, dude, this thing goes like 12. So it's not good. And I mean a slight grade. Most of the time you play on the mines match, but you will get drawn into matches with tier threes. And you'll need premiums for that. Cliff. Port, Mountain Pass, Himmelsdorf. Those are the maps that come to mind. Um, if there's others, I just am not. Oh, Abbey. You know, you have to learn how to handle those maps. You're going to need premiums because the Tier 3s, forget about it. The regular gun will bounce off of some Tier 2s that have great armor. So you just got to be careful. I use all premium, and like I said, I know up front I'm going to lose silver. I don't care. I go there with a stash, and I'm ready to rock. I want commander commander experience. I can get the silver back literally in a half an hour. I get it all back. If I'm having if I'm having bad luck, an hour I'll get it all back. So that's the thing. This is the butt kicker. It doesn't cost you anything, which is its number one attribute. Well, it, again, it's the top experience earning tank 
in the game per hour. Absolutely number one, no hedging of the stats. It's also the cheapest one you can buy. It's free. You can go get it right now. So that's the thing. This will help you a lot if you don't have these tanks. And maybe some of the things you didn't know, maybe, you know, whatever, it's fine. If you take this video, the information I've given you in this video, and go look at my commander's video, which is over an hour. But I was just covering the stuff that has to be covered to help you maximize your scoring in your games. It makes a huge difference. But you combine this information from this video and that video, and you're going to be set for commanders and how to handle your commanders. And it's just a matter of getting commander uh, bonus tanks and then bonus commanders like this guy, three star. So that's what we want to do. We want to get commander bonus tanks and we want to shove three star commanders in there if we have them. You can never have too many commander bonus tanks. But the key thing is, again, don't get something because someone says to get it. Now, this one's different. It's free. It's not going to hurt you. So I say get this one because it's free. If you don't like it, it's free. You didn't lose anything. It's no big deal. Okay. But all the other ones are going to cost you. So you're going to have to pay attention, see how those tanks operate, get what you can play. And what's fun for you, because if it's fun to play the tank, it's not a job. You're enjoying it. You're having great matches, etc. It makes a huge difference. The 38H is fun to play because it's a, it's, you know, some people say it's the mini mouse. It is a butt kicker. Hulk smash. It is not too far off the truth, man. That thing smashes all kinds of vehicles. Some of the lighter weight guys will ram you and die. So it's hilarious. It's a butt kicking tank. Like I said, it's actually my number one win percentage tank that I own. I have a few that are 100% because I played two or three matches. Okay, but I don't play them. This one I played a lot. It's 71% and it was like 800 plus matches. So when you play a ton of matches and it's your top winning percentage tank, pretty much tells you something. So, again, don't follow orders on this stuff. This is all advice. Ideas that will help you potentially score. Once you figure out what you like and what works for you, sky's the limit on what you can do. You've, if you've seen those commanders that I have, let's, do it, let's show it to you again. Let's go back here. Whoops, that's a separate German. All right. There we go. This is page one. These things are just loaded. I've got guys loaded. Like, let me show you. Where is the, let me get the fives. These are five skill commanders. I have 28 five skill commanders. Haven't even, I've never even used the Frostbite. There's some, I haven't used the Poodle. I haven't used the Rudy. I'm sitting there, tanks that I have never used have five-star commanders waiting to be used. Okay, I haven't used this one either, this uh, M3G FT. A lot of you guys are going like, dude, I'll take those. I, I, you know, you might not have any. Okay, you can make these yourself. I make these every week. Usually I make two a week on long haul missions. Da -da. Okay, so this is just five. These are just five slot commanders. There are sixes. I got 19 of these guys. And I use these in different tanks. Okay, so I'm just telling you, this is something I do on the side. This is not what I don't sit around just doing this. I'm trying to, again, combine things, do the long hauls, do my artillery badge matches. Do the Dream Machines matches. I'm making money while I'm doing this in my matches. It's awesome stuff. I'm making commander experience in these matches. That's five things that I'm doing every time I play a match this week. So I'm doing all kinds of stuff. 
What are you doing? I'm working on my commanders. Well, that sounds boring. Sure does, doesn't it? That's the thing. Don't be boring. Don't be stupid. Be smart. Make this work for you. Well, you got to do long haul matches to get free free cards for free gold, right? Well, I'm going to get ex commander experience. I'm going to make money unless I'm doing the 38H. I'm going to lose money on that, lose silver, but who cares? I'll make it back. Okay. So create a, create a pattern that's fun. And if you have friends that can do this with you, do it with the friends. It's fantastic. Man, we have matches. We'll run, uh, you know, 20, 30 long haul missions together. Running 38 H's, I'll sometimes run artillery just to, you know, not not uh, that artillery, but I'll run my sniper or whatever. Just mix it up. Have fun. Make it fun. If you make it fun, you get to have all these awesome commanders that I have that you see here. This is just, this is a byproduct. This is not the end goal. This is the byproduct. And the, by, the, the, the real goal is to have fun. And then, you know, play different tanks, win matches, make money, build up your commanders. Fantastic stuff. So use your brain. Mix it up. You know, think about how you can make this more fun for you. Because if you're going here like it's a job, man, go do something else. Okay? We're having a good time because we're making it the priority to have a good time. A lot of good stuff you can do, man. You can do your, you can make your commanders work for you, because if you're out there with three slot commanders, and guys got five, six, seven slot commanders, you're at a slight disadvantage for sure, because they're gonna have faster reload. They're gonna have better different things, whatever those things are. Armor deflection, better aim. I mean, it, there's a lot of things that can happen. So that's why I made this video. I want to help guys who have lesser experience, they may not know all the ins and outs of these commanders and what they can do. I think we covered everything that you need. I know the other one's very long. This one's probably long too. I'm not 100% sure. I don't, I don't make a timer because I'm just doing these and we cover the stuff I needed. We're done. So showed you how to get the tanks, showed you how to get commanders, um, move them around you know, for free, you know, now, I mean, I, I didn't mention this. I guess I should, should show you recruiting commanders. If you need to get, if you need to buy commanders, these are the ones that are available for sale for either silver for the regular commanders or gold for the two and three stars. You know, now personally speaking, I do have a handful of two stars, but I only have those because I got this Sparky for free. I got this guy in a bundle for essentially it was a, a little over a thousand gold each for him. Um, this is another bundle. I got these in a bundle. He was in a bundle for basically a thousand with the uh, snow suit commander. This guy was in the um, he was in the bundle. Big butter. Okay, so I picked up some bundled commanders like that snowsuit guy in my Canadian Frostbite Sherman. You don't see him here at all. One of the guys I don't have is Claude. I need Claude for my Frenchies. And I just haven't got around to it. I'm not paying 2200 bucks or 2200 gold for a two-star commander. It ain't happening. I'm just not doing it. These girls don't do much for me. I'll get them on a on a bundle discount, maybe. Bought Voitech. He's awesome. He was a freebie. Bought him. Bought her. Bought one of these for a discount price. Got the other one for free. Don't have this guy. I'm going to get him eventually. Bought this guy because I needed my Russian commander. Now, he's modern Russia, but Russian is Russian. It's all good to me. So, buy these 500,000 silver commanders. They're worthwhile. I have a bunch of these. They're great. I bought this for my Chinese, this, this uh, Zhang guy. He's fantastic. I got her as well. All these different ones are awesome. 
So whatever, there's all kinds of commanders available. You know, they don't sell very many of the commanders in the store. And usually when they do sell them, they tend to be these things here. So you can pick up special deals commanders. You know, I don't buy these. 1250 gold is like $6. And I ain't paying no 6 bucks for no postcard of a commander. Sorry, not happening. Okay. I paid twelve fifty for my one of my for my first American fireman commander. And that guy looks awesome. So you you want one of these paper ones or you want one of those 3D firemen? That was on it was on sale. Lucky, you know, pay attention. Check your store every week and see what's available commander wise. I don't like these. I think these are hideous. That's just me. I don't like any of these. This guy is cool, but he ain't six bucks cool, all right? I would need a absolutely Sunday best green suit leprechaun full body the whole nine yards to buy. And I would have bought, I'd buy a, a leprechaun commander, but I'm not going to buy this kind of wannabe. A green cow, really? Whatever, bro. Whatever floats your boat. I mean, at least this April Fool guy looks cool. You get two of those. That's not bad. But I really don't want that. If I'm going to get a postcard commander, I'm going to get one like the one I got. I picked up the Boilermaker because it came with the commander that goes with the Boilermaker. So this one was cool. I got that one. That was fine. I was, I was happy with that. No problem. The other ones, that's a free commander with a mercenary free mercenary commander so that's what why i have those are fine they're mercenary tank commanders that's cool i bought the bundle just to get him i had the tanks so i bought the bundle and got refunded for the tanks ended up paying you know maybe 1200 for him and two slots so because he's cool uh, you know real german commander i needed that that was fine I'm okay with that. I bought the bundled with Carl Kraft because, come on, he's an SS officer. You know, a, you know, nice looking. Commander. These are pirate commanders. They came in, you know, the pirate packs here. I also got this dude in one of those packs. That was awesome. The Captain Red Feathers. He's he's fantastic. So this is the thing. There's all kinds of commanders to get. Do, you know, get what you like. Do whatever works for you. I just give you some advice. Maybe you can get some good deals on stuff or whatever. As opposed to, you know, doing, trying to copy somebody and be what you're not. Be you. So I have two of those Jolly Rogers because I'm a pirate guy. I have both the regular postcard Voitech and the 3D Voitech. He's awesome. My son thought this, that, that Voitech was awesome because he's awesome. So, you know, whatever floats your boat, man, have fun with it. The commanders, the good commanders can make your thing fun. So hopefully this helped you out. Please leave a like for this video. This will help me spread the word to other people who need this information. If you haven't subscribed, this is one of the examples of the oddball unique things that I do that you don't see people do very often and I don't know they just be different than me whatever I'm just trying to give you the straight info maybe it'll help you I know it could help you if you really work on it hey I told you how to get the free tank anyway so so please consider subscribing and to my subscribers you guys are awesome man thanks a lot for all your attention and watching the videos and you've helped me out a lot, and I appreciate that every day. Thanks again. I'll see you guys later. Check out my uh, commander's, I'm sorry, the tank. Wait a second. No, that's the commander's video. This is the tank video. So there you go.